Hello, my dear friends. This is a painter cat. My name is Catherine. Today, I want to introduce to you my new tutorial with acrylic on a canvas, and we're going to learn how to glaze. We paint red rose in a glass vase, and also in the vase, we will have water, stem, and floating leaves. Real-time tutorial you can find by following links in the description box. On my Patreon, real-time tutorial taking three hours, so be prepared for it. Also there you can find tutorial how to draw sketch and helping materials as tone sketch in a pencil that's really helping to us on a first step where we have to paint rows with just black and white. Background here is really easy, it's kind of flat. You can see there vertical surface and horizon one, it's a table. Table will have half glossy reflection on it from the vase. Uh, and also for foreground and table, I added small amount of light ochre because later I want to demonstrate how to set vase painted with just black and white into the painting. So in the end, vase will look balanced also. For rose, vase and all details from the start we're using just white and black. As black I'm using here just in natural black, but also before glazing possible to use small amount of ochre, it can be moss or burnt umber. I will use just white and black and what I really like about this technique, it's nice way to check if we can paint value really well. It's possible to get experience before with a simple geometric shapes as sphere, cube and others. So all those knowledge will really help later because in general all objects here have simple geometric shape in a base. For example, rose, it's a sphere, same as a vase, that sphere half we have here also. Patch of light, tone, shadow, and cast shadow, and we paint it step by step. As you can see now, I'm starting with just main spots of lights and shadows on the petals. I'm not trying to get the final detailing on each petal one by one. First, we're just planning where we're gonna have main light spots and where deepest shadows gonna be. Light direction here from the top left, but light here very soft because I didn't want it to create a really contrasted cast shadow. You can see here composition simple, rows and base really big and they planned to stay at the right side of the composition. So cast shadow will go also on a right side. To contrast it, shadow could give us too heavy final look. I didn't want to get it, so instead of, I choose to create reflection on a half glossy table. For rows, we also can use here blending with a dry brush, blending with a finger. Also, right now you can see for leaves, I'm using technique close to one stroke, when I have on my brush, I have a different tones of acrylic, so it's mixing together right on a canvas when I'm creating brush stroke. 
So there, in one stroke, you can see different tones. Really good effect for leaf especially. For petals, of course, we want to create more silky, more smooth look. So there we blending much more. Also, I like to create visible difference between center of painting and all other areas. Here, center, it's a future rose, as soon as it's gonna be a red one, right? All other areas, all other details, leaves gonna be green, vase gonna be with ochre. So, for sure, a red flower will be the most catchy element and I like to have different amount of detailing and let's say I'd prefer to have the most uh, detailed area in the center of composition and all others elements can be a little bit less detailed. So, you can see leaves looking a bit different, same as vase, and in real-time tutorial we're talking a lot about shadows and light on a glass, because here we have a thickness of glass walls in a vase, also it's a kind of heavy glass base water uh, oval in the we discussing in a real-time tutorial it's really taking time it's a lot of painting at the moment i'm using just water if i need a bit more um softer consistency for acrylic no any retarder or other mediums inside of it I like to use water because um, acrylic with it drying really fast and before glazing we have to dry layer really really well. This is the most important moment for this technique. Glazing also can be done with oil but with same moments. Previous layer have to be created with uh, black and white plus can be a little bit of brown color and before glazing layer thin transparent translucent glazing layer we have to dry painting really well. On my palette, you can see right now, I have just a small portions of acrylic paints from the tube. As soon as I'm running out of any color, I can add a little bit more from the tube again. So this way my acrylics stay really fresh, so I'm not using much of water in a mix. Here I have stem, three small green leaves, green in the future, of course, right now it's just black and white, and also small rosebud. For rosebud I will also use red color later. I will paint rose with red but it's up to you you can choose any color for glazing can be yellow pink green rose for example can be rainbow rose any color that you have in mind before glazing tutorial going always the same from the glazing step you can choose your own color. Most important moment we have to glaze with really well translucent acrylic shades. Different color of acrylic have a different amount of uh, transparency 
and possible to do very simple test. Maybe later I'll do extra tutorial about it. Uh, now you can see I have to dry my painting. I will speed up process bit and uh, I'm using just a hair dryer. Checking if it's sticky or not. And I think now my painting absolutely dry. Next step we have to glaze and we can use water or acrylic retarder. Possible to use water, true, but it's not really good for adhesive because for example, if you want to go for pink rose, you're going to have lots of water in a mix, but really tiny amount of red pigment in a mix. So this way, acrylic can stick to previous layers, not really good. So on a next step, when we will detail glazed painting, it can be an issue with the glazing layer. It's possible to lift it up, to remove from your canvas. Of course, it depends from the quality of acrylic and uh, from the canvas, but also it's a question of water in it. Water not sticky at all. So I prefer to use acrylic retarder. So right now on my palette you can see white liquid, not a paint, it's looking as a liquid close to red color on my palette. This is acrylic retarder, it's giving more time to work with the paint, so acrylic not drying too fast, about maybe 20-30 minutes, depends from the um, amount of retarder in a mix, and also it's a really sticky base. You can use it a lot. You can add in a retarder just a tiny amount of pigment and still you'll get a really, really uh, good adhesive quality of your glazing layer. Uh, about color, if you want to go for light color, means you have to use lots of retarder and a little bit of pigment in it. If you want to go for more juicy, for really red pigmented uh, flower, you have to use less retarder and lots of red color. As for me, you can see right now I uh, created really, really uh, red rose, bright. Uh, personally, I just like this color, but again, it's up to you. Just you have to remember if you're going for light uh, colors for your flowers, you can't use water at all. If you're going for mm, more colorful flowers and elements, yes, possible to use water if you have no retarder at home, but better, trust me, better to use just a proper uh, supplies for your paintings. About glass vase. Right now you can see the process how to set black and white um, object in a background that already have color in it. Just a little bit of ochre, bit of green and red and vase looking really well now. Same for reflection. I'm just glazing tiny bit. It's possible to check uh, transparency of your acrylic colors. Different colors have a li uh, different amount of it. Uh, you can create uh, on a separate piece of paper, you can create black stripe and you can put on top of it those mix you're gonna use for glaze. If black line still well visible through it means this color of acrylic good for glazing, it's translucent. If your mix covering well, black line means it's not translucent and it's not good for glazing technique. 
Also, I do not recommend to you use white in a mix for glazing. If you go for pink rose, you have again to use extra retarder, but do not put white for pink roses because white have a nice coverage and you will cover shades that we created on a step one where we was painting with just black and white. Uh, on the next step, let's say uh, it's a big step number three, we can detail those results that we created with black and white layer and glazing on top. But also before detailing we have to dry our painting really really well. If for uh, acrylic painting based on a water it's just enough, um, 10 minutes enough to get it dry with a hair dryer. For a Acrylic painted uh, based on a retarder, it can be much more time, depends uh, on the trademark you're using, your supplies, depends from it and also depends on amount of uh, retarder in the mixes for glazing. Uh, usually for this um, amount of pigmentation for rose, it's really a uh, dark red. I'd say about 20 minutes for my retarder it's enough for hair dryer again. And uh, if you don't want to use hot air for drying, you can just um, take a really big break, like maybe two hours, three hours. Later you have to check if you're painting not sticky, not sticky after uh, the break, you can go for detailing level. And here, yes, we can correct everything. Right now you can see I'm using mix of white, yellow and green for uh, light detailing and correction on the leaves, but I already have main shapes, main shadow and lights on elements and uh, all objects here looking very, very detailed, let's say very sharp. Possible to use uh, this technique in a whole painting, as uh, for example, we can see on an uh, older master's steel. Also possible to mix this technique, glazing technique, with others. For example, on my previous tutorial, we also were painting red rose on a smaller size with a black back background, there we used uh, glazing as a small part of working process, but there glazing mixed with a color on the painting and possible to see the difference it's giving. We used glazing only on the center of the rose, so it's giving very nice contrast. Here my painting almost done, so I have to put my sign and I have to uh, take a final look on my painting. Usually I prefer to do the final corrections on easel and personally I'd recommend to you uh, tricky to use camera and easel same time. But right now I believe I choose right angle to demonstrate you uh, tone process. I want to create a bit deeper tone on the right side of the painting because even if a uh, light very soft hair, diffused light usually not giving to us uh, contrasted shadows from the objects but still this part of uh, background have to be bit darker than um, background on the left side. So I wanna create deeper tone, it's very easy with acrylic retarder, I'm using mix, same colors as before for background, plus medium acrylic retarder and I'm blending everything with a soft big dry brush. 
My friends, welcome on my Patreon. There you can find real-time tutorial of this painting. Also, there are available additional tutorial for 30 minutes where we're creating sketch for this painting and tone a sketch that helps you to create value on a step one. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.